Hey card fighters, Chris here from Vanguard Central bringing you some budget matches. This week we have a Seeker deck. A very, very aggressive deck focused primarily on the Legion, though it does have some strides to back it up if you need them. As always, you can check the description for an article about the deck, a little bit more how to play it, how it was built, things like that. Starting off with a G assist from our opponent. Always good for us, but always sucks because it feels like whenever you G assist, you always like go on tilt, and that really sucks. But he comes back, hits us with a crit. So go, go aggressive with our attackers. Guarding, pushing him up higher. So he doesn't go after our rear guard here as I thought he would. So it's going to take some damage, keep up our aggression. Brutus gets that on call, um, on, sorry, on ride, calls Locriness from the deck. That's super good. Just get that full front row full just to keep pressuring him with multiple attacks. I don't really need to call the back row because it's not going to help me pressure more attacks right now. That's why I just could keep it in my safe in my hand for guarding later. So he's going to go ahead and stride. We're going to follow up with our own stride, get some rear guards out there, and here I, I kind of fall into his perfect guard, um, just because I attack with my rear guard first, knowing he has a perfect guard, and I have no place to put my triggers, which is a bit unfortunate, misplay by my, a misplay for me. So he is going to legion here, um, attack my rear guards, try to control my field, um, try to keep me down, but I'm not going to let him do that. Going to guard his attacks. That 25, not that hard to guard. But the 21k coming in on his rear guard. Kind of a pain. But really, not too much damage done to us. So, now he's at 4. We got to go for some Legion plays, probably with Brutus. Um, giving the front row a ton of attack power, combined with... Um, Locrinus, all the Locrinus we have in our hand is going to make um, all the Locrinus go up to 15k with the boosters will be like around 22. So a lot of pressure coming out from from our rear guards. So you know guards isn't able to guard that 37 Vanguard um, with Is Buzzard boosting very good. But we don't get the crit unfortunately. So that is too bad. But it does push him up to 5 and we have two really strong columns coming. But he does have the shield, so we were not going to be able to kill him this turn. But we got that heal off, pushed him up to 5, so, so we're in a very good spot to kill him next turn. Uh, Locrin is comboing very well with Brutus, as expected. She's going to go for that Madu play. I'm not really sure why he went for this play, um, but I'm still obviously thinking how to get around it. I don't have much shield, so I'm probably going to guard his rear guards. Take the Vanguard attack, hope he does not double crit me. So that's going to go down. I think he did it to try to pressure me and probably go for that crit play, but it probably would have been better for him to just focus on field control, as Kagero loves to do. Game's going to slow down a bit. The guy's mouse broke, which kind of sucks. Can't really play CFA without your mouse. So let's talk a bit more about the deck. Uh, it's very aggressive. A lot of the um, grade ones are attacking units able to hit grade twos by themselves, so like 9k attackers, 10k attackers, that sort of thing. And all the grade twos like give power of some sort, whether they hit or things like that. Okay, looks like looks like he's got his mouse back. So no triggers for him. Very unfortunate. Um, also, pretty much no guard in hand, which is going to seal the game for us. And as we guard his rearguard attacks. So, gonna go ahead and re ride uh, Brutus just because the Locrinus' effects only go off one Legion. So, we're gonna le re Legion again and make sure we get uh, that last Locrinus back in the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and attack, and that's gonna be the game. <sighs> Pretty good game. Shows um, the power aspect off of the deck a lot. Um, you can get some pretty high numbers pretty easily, um, and that, that aggression from Brutus is very strong. 
Never underestimate that. All right, the second game is going to be versus Genesis. We get that uh, Gangren um, as an early attacker again, and he doesn't guard much. So, going to take some early attacks. He goes for our rear guards, but it, it is all right because we're going to push back. Uh, that booster I called is Octavius. Um, I actually realized he's not out in English, so you will not be able to put him in your deck. So the the article actually replaces him with more Gangarins, more Isabuzzards, and a Sabrumi. Um, that last turn, he didn't seem to have much to guard in his hand, so I just kept going for Vanguard, and he he um, he blocked the Lightsaber Dragon. I assume to keep me off of you know filtering out my cards, getting the cards that I want. Um, never want to give your opponent the cards they want. But that sends him up to four. Um, not much guarding with, not much for him to guard with. And then we just go ahead and do a Legion play with Lightsaber Dragon. Funny story, our teammate Ryan saw Lightsaber Dragons on sale for like 50 cents. And he's like, Seeker? Something Saber Dragon? I wouldn't get a Thing Sabers for like 50 cents. It's going to be great. And uh, no, they're, they're Lightsaber Dragons. Uh, similar name, Bates right there. So we go for the attack. He is unable to guard with all his 5k shields, and that is going to be the game. But we do have a very big columns on the side, so nothing to worry about even if he had healed. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, any thoughts about the deck. Give us a like, it helps out a lot, and subscribe for more content. Vanguard Central, out.